is Susan, the Education Manager at the Sacramento History Museum, and today we have John, our Education Associate, here to show you different tests that you can perform at home to see if you have real gold or if you've been fooled. So without further ado, here is John. Now, when gold was discovered in Coloma on January 24, 1848 by James Marshall, James Marshall found the gold in the tail race of Sutter's Mill that he had built. And he presented it to all his fellow workers, and they didn't believe him. They thought he was making the whole thing up. But there was a lady there, she was the only lady who was actually a part of that whole group. Her name was Ginny Widmer. And she had actually had some experience with finding gold with her dad back in Georgia. So she took a, that little bit of gold that James Marshall found and threw it in her pot of lye. And she said, well, if the gold survives, it'll be there next, it'll be there tomorrow morning. Essentially what she was doing is she was trying to dissolve the gold in lye. And gold doesn't dissolve in lye, but many other materials do. So when she checked back the next morning, sure enough, gold was there. Well, many people still weren't convinced, including John Sutter, the man who owned the mill. So James Marshall took that bit of gold down to John Sutter and presented it to him. And they decided they would go ahead and do a few more tests, one of which was they hammered the gold, another which is they bit into it, and finally, the last test they do, and one that we will not, was is they put nitric acid onto the gold, and that was going to dissolve or corrode it. But it's gold, so that didn't happen. Now, let me go ahead and get you started on some fun tests that we're gonna do today. All right, now before we start the experiment, first we need to go ahead and put on our protective eyewear. Just a bit of safety before you do anything, always make sure to wear something before you do any experiment that protects your eyes. Now the first test we're going to do is we're going to be testing how magnetic this little piece of gold is. If it's real gold, it will have no magnetic abilities whatsoever. So I'm going to use these needle nose pliers here to go ahead and put all these objects on here. And that way we'll be able to test just how magnetic is like all of these items are. If the gold is, is once again not magnetic, it will slide right off. Now you will also notice right next to the gold, I have this button here that they're pretty similar in color. So let's find out which one stays on and which one slides off. So there we go. This button is in fact not made of gold, but that little gold piece and the silver ring here, that's both of those slid right off. So we can go ahead and slide those off now. We're going to go ahead and put the little bit of gold back. And now we're going to come to our next experiment. What this one is actually going to be doing is we're going to be measuring the density of these liquids here. Now, there are several, t there are a few tests that do measure the density of gold it's like using water. Unfortunately, our little James Marshall gold nugget here is not big enough for any of those tests really. So we're going to go ahead and instead, we're going to be using these liquids right here. Now, the first liquid we're going to be using to measure the density is maple syrup and you're going to want to put in if you're using a mason jar like me or if you're going to be using a measuring uh, cup or measuring beaker maybe about half to a full cup next you're going to want to go ahead and put in a cup of water And if you look closely right away here, you'll already see that the maple syrup and the water have separated because the syrup is heavier than the water. And finally, the last thing we can put in here is going to be olive oil. And we'll just go ahead and put the olive oil right up to the top. All right, now we'll let that separate there. And you can see right there, how these three is like liquids are completely separate from each other because the syrup is the heaviest, then you've got the water, and then the olive oil is the lightest of all. Now, one way is like people use gold in order to find out its uh, true density when measuring it 
is that, you know, they will drop it inside of the liquid and they'll see how mu much the liquid has changed with the weight of that object. So we're going to drop in the button here, which is heavier than the olive oil, but it's not heavier than the maple syrup, so it's going to lay right up on top. Then we're going to drop in this little piece of plastic, which is heavier than the olive oil, but it is not heavier than the water. And now, we're going to go ahead and drop in And it looks like, that, in fact, this mint container is actually just a little bit heavier than that syrup. So it sinks all the way down to the bottom. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please stop on by some time and visit us at the Sacramento History Museum.